Blackstone is the biggest private equity investment group in the world. They control over 1 trillion worth of investments and they have a particularly strong reputation and track record in real estate investing. They are highly sophisticated and always looking to buy real estate at a large discount to its fair value and this has historically allowed them to earn large returns for their investors. For this reason, most real estate investors will closely follow what Blackstone is up to. So what assets are they buying? What prices are they paying for them? And well, lately they've been investing very heavily in real estate investment trusts and that's going to be the topic of today's video. Hey everyone, this is Yulsha, a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing and today I want to discuss Blackstone's latest $10 billion investment in the REIT sector. But before I get into it, I'm going to let you know that I plan to soon launch a new newsletter on Substack. There will be a lot of free research on the REIT sector and also a paid version for those of you who want to access my portfolio and my trade alerts in real time. The first hundred to sign up will get a large discount. So if this is something that could interest you, make sure to check the first link in the description of this video. So earlier this week, Blackstone announced that they would acquire Apartment Income REIT, ticker symbol AIRC, in a $10 billion transaction, paying a 25% premium to its latest share price. This is the biggest apartment REIT acquisition ever for Blackstone, and so that tells you loud and clear that they believe that apartment REITs are today discounted. They are willing to pay a 25% premium, and they still think that they are getting a good deal, which just shows you how cheap these REITs have gotten. Remember that Blackstone is the biggest landlord in the world. They know best what's the fair value of different types of properties. They're highly sophisticated. They have the best data. They're highly opportunistic. And yet they're willing to pay these large premiums to acquire REITs. And that's simply because even after accounting for this premium, Blackstone is able to acquire this REIT at an implied cap rate of roughly 5.7%, which is quite a bit higher than what they will be getting in the private market for comparable assets. So in short, that explains to you why they are buying REITs instead of private real estate, REITs simply allow them to buy real estate at a large discount to its fair value. Today there are a number of REITs that trade at 30 to 50% discounts to their net asset values. A great example that I've often discussed on this channel is called BSR REIT. This is an apartment REIT that specializes in rapidly growing techs and communities. Its latest net asset value per share is about $18 and yet it's today trading in the market at just $11 per share representing a 40% discount. If you were offered to buy apartment communities in Texas for 60 cents on the dollar in the private market, you would probably jump on this opportunity, but somehow because REITs are publicly listed, investors are reluctant to investing in them but not Blackstone. They are playing the long game and they understand that real estate, whether it's private or public, when it's bought at a low valuation, it can be a great investment. And so they are now stepping up their REIT investments. They just closed their biggest apartment REIT acquisition ever, $10 billion. This is really a big amount of money. And this is not an isolated case. In late 2023, they acquired another residential REIT called Tricon Residential, ticker symbol TCN, in a $3.5 billion transaction. And there they paid a 30% premium as well. And that's not all. In the two years prior to that, they bought another roughly $30 billion worth of REITs. This included big names like American Campus Communities, as well as PS Business Parks. Before I continue, could you please do me a huge favor and click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of my future REIT investments. Thank you very much. So in total, they have now deployed about $40 billion into REITs during this latest bear market. Warren Buffett has famously said that when it's raining gold, you should put in a bucket and not a thimble. And I think that Blacks really took that to the letter. And the interesting thing here is that you can follow the same strategy and get even better prices than Blackstone. They are working with billions of dollars and this reduces their flexibility when investing in REITs and because of this they often have to pay these large premiums to acquire stakes in REITs or even buy them out completely. But you as a relatively small individual investor you can simply buy shares in the open market and get a better deal than Blackstone. As I mentioned earlier, Blackstone is paying an estimated 5.7% implied cap rate for the assets of apartment income REIT, but many of its close peers in the apartment sector are today trading at closer to a 6.5% to a 7% implied cap rate. And so if the world's biggest and most sophisticated real estate investor is willing to acquire these assets at a 5.7% cap rate, I'm very happy to pick up comparable assets at an even higher cap rate than that. But why is Blackstone now stepping up its REIT investments? I think that this is simply because they believe that the window of opportunity could be closing. According to the FedWatch tool, the debt markets are predicting a roughly 100 basis point cut in interest rates over the next year. If these odds are correct, it's going to be a lot harder for Blackstone to acquire apartment communities at a near 6% cap rate and they know this and so because of that they are now stepping up the investments and being more aggressive. This is a good reminder that REITs crash because of rising interest rates and therefore if we now see significant cuts in the near term, this would likely lead to a recovery and that's what Blackstone is betting on. 
If you look back at the past many decades, REITs have gone through many different bear markets, but they have always eventually recovered and strongly rewarded those who had the courage to buy them at low valuations. Timing the market or predicting exactly when this recovery will take place is of course not possible, but I think that's very likely that as the Fed starts cutting interest rates over the next 6 to 12 months, we will see a shift in the market sentiment that will lead to a recovery in the REIT sector. For this reason, I'm very bullish on REITs as I've explained in many of my previous videos and Blackstone's latest big acquisition of yet another REIT only increases my conviction. At High Yield Landlord, we have now profited from four different buyouts from Blackstone alone. The first one was American Campus Communities, the second one was PS Business Parks, then Tricon and Apartment Income REIT. And I think that there will be many more over the coming quarters. And if you want to access my full portfolio, you can join High Yield Landlord, which is my REIT newsletter for a two week free trial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And otherwise, once more, if you could please like the video, that would really help me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you so much in advance. See you at my next one. Bye bye.